It's after five on today's TMJ4 to the recall of Governor Scott Walker. The primary election now less than two weeks away. And as Democrats prepare for the final stretch, Republicans might try to play the role of spoiler. Nick Montes is live in Waukesha this morning with more. Nick, good morning. Yeah, good morning. No doubt Waukesha County has a Republican stronghold. And because it is an open Democratic primary, Republicans could influence who faces the governor. With just a little less than two weeks to go until the Democratic primary, many are watching the battle heat up. Five names on the Democratic primary ballot. Polls suggest Tom Barrett could have a better chance than Kathleen Falk of beating Governor Walker, leaving Republicans the option of picking a weaker candidate. Would you ever want to do that yourself, or do you hear other people doing it? Other people do it. Um, it's not the way that I work. Republican Assembly Leader Robin Voss believes some Republicans will pick the weaker candidate to give the governor an edge. I'm not suggesting that. Will some do it? I'm sure some will. Uh, it's an open primary. But some voters aren't taking Taking any chances with their single vote since the governor is listed on the ballot. For me, I'm going to vote for the guy that I want to win, and that's the governor. Now, at UW Whitewater tonight, you can hear from three of four Democrats in the governor's race, as well as Democrats running in other races. There's a forum that starts at 7 in Timmerman Auditorium in Highland Hall on the UW Whitewater campus. And Vaz says crossing over could, in fact, backfire since uh, there is no organized Republican effort. On your side in Waukesha, Nick Montes for today's TMJ.